Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Minnow Studio, and in this video we are going to be going over the microphone input add-on, salsa mic input, and uh, we can jump over to our documentation here. All of our add-on documentation is at the bottom down here. It's also mic input. We can see that this documentation is for version 2.3.0, which is the latest version, and it is only compatible with the Salsa Lip Sync Suite version 2.3 which is currently on 2.3.1, and uh, it is not compatible with prior versions. If you're using the latest Salsa, you need this new microphone input, and that applies to our one clicks as well as all of our code-free add-ons. If you look through this documentation, it is largely the same as it was previously. There's a few new sections in here, uh, namely this one here for the new version of Salsa. Salsa no longer has the Unity microphone class included in the core product, and that is so you do not get prompted for permissions when building for mobile platforms when you're not using the microphone. So we need a little bit of a helper here in order to tell Salsa where the microphone head is currently recording. That way the audio analysis can reduce the latency as much as possible. And we'll go through that in just a few minutes. So let's pull up our Unity project here. And this is a brand new project. We are using the latest version of Unity as of the recording of this video, 2019.3.2. So let's go ahead and install our required components here. So first off, let's put Salsa in. And you can see we've got 2.3.1. And I am going to need a model. So I will work with this Guy model from Daz. He's free. You can go out to their site and get him. And since I am using DAZ, I will put the DAZ one-click in place. First off, we need to install the one-click base, and the latest version of that is 2.1.6. And we'll use the latest version of DAZ, which is 2.3.1. We'll need the 2.3 to match up with our Salsa Core 2.3. Okay, and now we'll install mic input. And likewise, we need the 2.3 version to work with Salsa 2.3. So now everything is installed. Let's go ahead and add our model to the scene. I'll drag the prefab up here and we'll turn him around. And let me go ahead and configure this scene. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and configure this guy up with the one click. So we've got him selected. Let's do game object, crazy mental salsa lip sync one clicks, Daz, and he is a prefab. So we have to unpack him first so that the scripts can run and add new objects. So now we have salsa and emoter and eyes all wired up. Uh, I am going to adjust my synchronization emotes uh, to fire constantly. We should have an audio clip. Yes, we do. Promo mail. So let me, let's go ahead and test this real quick. Salsa. Simple automated lip sync approximation. Okay. The unique technology. Looks like that's yeah, working. Now, for the microphone input, what it will do once mic input is fired up and start, it will seek out the audio source and it will replace the audio clip with the microphone buffer clip. We don't really want this play on awake. And we could, we could just leave it like this and we'd be fine. But let's go ahead. We don't need this clip either. Let's go ahead and delete that. And the microphone record clip, again, will be populated in here once everything spins up. All right. Let's go ahead and add the mic input script. Now we see that there's another script down here. It's also mic pointer sync. We can add this manually, but we don't need to. So let's go ahead and add our salsa mic input. And basically what happens is once we get down to this point here where it says link with salsa, then that will automatically add that script. And it will also set, pull this up here. It will also make a couple of changes to salsa. And one would be if this was not enabled, this auto just playhead bias, then this would be enabled. And then it will also enable the using microphone. If we come down here, first off, we'll also select mute microphone because we don't want to 
have that echoey playback while I'm trying to talk here. And then we'll leave our sample rate at 11 kilohertz. And we will override the rate because when Unity requests the microphone sample rate from the microphone, many times it will just return the highest sample rate possible, regardless of what you have set here. So if you enable this override rate, then behind the scenes, we'll go ahead and make sure that it's using 11 kilohertz. And then this is where the salsa settings are set when we enable this. And it will also add this this pointer sync script down here. Now you can use your own script if you don't like ours, as long as you're feeding Salsa the actual mic pointer for the record head, then that's fine. But the way you would do that, if you do click this link with Salsa, you can then go ahead and remove this component and it won't re-add it. It will only add it when you click link with Salsa after it has been disabled. So everything should be good to go here. Now, We'll see if we have enough dynamics with my, my current microphone settings. All right, so we're seeing that we're getting a little bit of lip sync, but it's not fully dynamic. It looks like we're not stretching out to the, the larger shapes. So let's stop that, and we can try to correct that in a couple of different ways. The easiest way will be to use this linear scale cutoffs. And if we drag this down, it will actually look at a smaller subsection of the audio wave. And there is some information on that on the site. If we go into the Salsa using, roll down to setting, and right here the dynamic section. So this discusses what this linear scale cutoffs setting does. Basically what we'll be doing, since our microphone is probably hitting down here, we're not scaling up enough for us to hit those higher trigger levels. So by pulling this down, we'll be looking at this smaller section and spreading it across that whole zero to one range. So let's try setting it down just a little bit here. We'll try that again. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit better. Not not quite enough, but let's go let's go a little bit more. Okay. Now, <coughs> excuse me. So, we should have a pretty good dynamic range here and it's not looking too bad, so I will call that a success. And if you wanted it even more, it's easy enough. Pull it down. And then we should be seeing plenty we should be seeing plenty of dynamics in the lip movement, and it looks pretty good. Now we can also smooth this out a little bit by overriding our timings, and we'll make the time, we'll set them for about 11. We'll bring the off so the off closes a little bit faster, and then we'll pull this nuance. What are we at, about 0.8? Yeah, 0.08, okay. So this, this should smooth it out just a little bit. Let's see how this looks. Okay. All right. So now we see that the lips are moving a little bit smoother. They look maybe, I don't know, it depends on the look you're going for. You may want smoother or you may want that, you know, sort of choppier look. Anyway, all right, so that is how we set up the microphone input. It also has a very small API to it, and that API allows you to start and stop the microphone or stop and start depending on what you're you're looking for so sometimes the microphone if you have let's say a mobile app or even a desktop app where you're losing focus and then you're regaining focus of the app uh, depending on what your unity player settings are the microphone might get out of sync and certain other aspects of salsa will be looking in the wrong location right here so what you might need to do programmatically is go in and stop the microphone and start it up again and uh, and then that way everything will be synced up so what you will need to do and we'll go ahead and load up this uh, microphone input okay and if anyone's wondering i am using jetbrains writer editor here so if we go down and look pull up the explorer Whoop. Not that, the structure. Uh, what we have is this start microphone. This is public, you can call this. And uh, what you'll do is actually specify the microphone name. Otherwise you can leave it blank and it will look for the uh, default microphone. And uh, 
and, and that will start the microphone and then there's also uh, the stop microphone and these are pretty much the only things you probably should use or want to use from this actual class uh, and I believe they're the only ones that are public right now so if you uh, you know the source is included here if you want to edit it edit it at your own risk but uh, you you can actually call these through your own script if you need to reset the microphone so that is pretty much it for salsa mic input it's pretty simple to use I hope that was educational and informative and as always, we look forward to seeing what you create. We'll see you in the next video.